I first downloaded Arcade around a month ago and ever since then it has genuinely made it onto every track that I've made. It might be one of the best value plugins I've ever tried. I just love all of the sounds and features and just the playability of this VST is just insane. So for those of you who have never heard of Arcade before, in this video I'll be breaking down exactly what it is, what it does and talking about my three top reasons why I think you should definitely try it out. And for those of you who have used it, I'll also be breaking down how I approach using it in different tracks at the end. So I'll show you some examples of my favorite kits and sounds that I use from it. So I think it'll be useful for everyone. Arcade, for those of you who don't know, is running off a subscription model. So you can try it for free for 30 days if you click the link in the description down below. And then after that, I think it's about $10 a month, depending on where you are. And also just to get the terminology out of the way, uh, Output is the company. They make plugins like Portal, which I use in all my videos, and they make Arcade, which is another VST. But within Arcade, it's sort of like its own ecosystem. So they've got different lines, which are like sort of like sample packs or VSTs within themselves. And within the lines, you can have things like note kits or sampler kits. Uh, sampler kits are sort of samples that you can play on the keyboard it depending on the key that you're in so you pick the key play the sample it'll be in the right key it adjusts to bpm and all that stuff and then you've got note kits as well which are sort of like playable instruments but anyway i'm just going to be showing you quickly the sort of layout of arcade and i'm going to talk about the point number one why i think you should definitely check it out so quickly before i talk about point number one which is the amazing vocals that it's got i just wanted to talk about generally how it works uh, so as i said it's a subscription based model so if you click on the link in the description down below you can actually try it out for free for 30 days which i would recommend everyone who hasn't tried it out to do uh, it might really gel with you or it might not but you can try it out for free if it doesn't work for you you can cancel it if it does you can carry on and the benefit of it being a subscription plan is number one uh, you don't have to pay up front for a vst that you've never actually tried so if you're anything like me a bought VSTs in the past that had great demos and I've ended up trying them and they just really don't live up to the hype and it's just a colossal waste of money. Secondly, because it's a subscription based model, uh, they are constantly added new lines and it's sort of an inception of plugins list. You've got the arcade within it has lines, within the lines you've got sampler kits and note kits. So it really is a sort of treasure trove of sounds and they are getting updated constantly. So you've got the new line downtime, which was a very lo-fi hip hop focus, which is out now. So if I go over to search, I can search for downtime prepared this one earlier and it'll show me all of the new downtime sampler kits so each sampler kit will have its own samples uh, if you hover over it it'll show you a quick sort of overview of what it has you can click to play the demo and because everything syncs to the track's bpm this one suggests 50 to 80 so it'll go down to 70 to get a nice little middle ground and now when i play it it'll be at the right bpm if you've just opened it up you'll have to download these first you can download whatever packs you want, or you can also remove the download if you don't use it. So yeah, you've downloaded it, you found a sound you like, let's go for uh, sexy guitar. So this is the page that you'll see. So if I play a sample quickly, I can add effects to it. And the effects will change from different kits to different kits. Uh, so the track will sync to your project's BPM. But for example, if you were in, say, 140 BPM and you wanted to play a kit that recommended 70, if you go into Tweak, you can go to Playback and you can double or half the speed. So that was a nice little quality of life thing that I figured out after about a week of using it. So generally, all of the white keys play the samples. Uh, you've also got some pitch modifications. So if I use some of the lower keys, I can change the semitones of the sample. So that's seven semitones. And you've got these little modifiers here, which are played by the black keys. Uh, so for example, the blue one is an arpeggiator and it will arpeggiate whatever the sample you're playing. And then you've got these orange ones, which are sort of like sliced, looped versions. And the red ones will start the sample from different places and reverse them and stuff like that. So you can adjust it on the fly there. And then, yeah, you've got the key here. So I can change from G minor to F minor, which was the native uh, key of these samples. Or I can go down to whatever key I'm in. And then that will stay locked. So if you change to different lines, it'll still be in the right key. Plus, you can give it a little heart if you liked the kit. And then that way, when you go to search for stuff, you can search for stuff that you've 
given a heart to. So that was a sample kit and then you've also got note kits which again work in a similar way except for rather than triggering samples you can just play chords. <laughs> So yeah, that was just a quick overview if you've never used it before. And now I'm going to go and talk about some of the lush vocals that they have to offer. So on to number one, which is the main reason why I think you should try this out. And it's the main reason that I love it. And it is all of the fantastic vocal samples that they've got. So if I go over to my favorite line, which is Distant Voices. So it's been out for a little while and I know a lot of people have been using it. But if you haven't, you really need to get onto it. It's got such a vast range of vocal samples that sound fantastic. So these work great for the sort of sleepy, mellow, lo-fi stuff. It's got such a, a, a such a magical, ethereal sound to a lot of these. So you can find the kits, see what BPM they are. Often I go below the recommended BPM, especially if I'm working on lo-fi beats and it works really well. So this one is Saigaku. And as I said earlier, obviously you've got the arpeggiator features which make it so easy to get these really nice sample snippets and you can play multiple notes at the same time and then you can adjust some of the effects And they sound fantastic and I've used the arpeggiator quite a lot as well as just some of the standalone vocal samples. At the end of the video I'll show you exactly some of the patches that I've been using in my tracks as I'll play through a few little snippets of upcoming music. Um, but yeah, the vocals is the main thing. Obviously you've got the fact that you can pitch it really quickly with the uh, semitone thing. The inbuilt effects are fantastic. Yeah, this is Saigaku and there's so many within Distant Voices that sound fantastic. Um, I need to go through and heart more. I think I hearted a few, uh, one so far. Um, but yeah, it's well worth. Stuff like that just fits so perfectly. And the fact you can easily just adjust the key. So it reminds me of the Dune soundtrack. Uh, just super emotive stuff and I'm absolutely in love with this Distant Voices. You can freeze them and reverse them and chop them yourself as well. Uh, but the good thing is there's so many different options. Reversing them, starting from different positions, using the slicer, the arpeggiator. So yeah, there's just, there's more being added constantly. Well worth checking out vocal stuff is amazing also i'm in the process of editing and i realized i've got to add a competition to this week's video so the prize is going to be six months of arcade and all you've got to do to enter is drop a like and a comment on this video and i'll pick someone at random as soon as we hit 300 likes which i might add we're getting close to on a few other videos so if you haven't already watched some of the previous videos and entered those competitions they will be announced very shortly so be sure to enter by liking and dropping a comment on those um but yeah on to the video on to point number two which is more focused around the sort of elements of adding texture and when you get a little bit of writer's block you've got an idea that just needs something else this is perfect and the kit that i like to use for that is aura so here it tells you how many different sounds are in there so in all there's 112 different sample kits and 33 different note kits and then within the 112 sample kits is so many other things so i hope i've been hearting these i've got a few that i've hearted so aura it's just fantastic for adding texture because it's got different instruments, a lot of really interesting instruments that, again, you can play in the same way you can play the vocals. So rather than digging through hundreds of samples to find something that may or may not fit, then often with samples, they're not quite to the BPM they say they are. Or when you pitch down to your track, it just sounds awful. With Aura, it just fits so nicely. This one I've used a few times like an Aeru. And what I've been finding this great for is I'll get a track started, get a chord progression going, and then I'll just start messing around. I'll get the right key, make sure I'm in the right key. That's locked in. And then I can just play some things, see if it fits the track. Mess around with filters, 
a little bit of attack for more of a pad sound. And then just go and browse through so you can narrow it down if you want to. Uh, usually I narrow it down by BPM. So if we've got a slower track, we'll go 60 to 80. You can narrow it down with instrument, but for this, I'd recommend just browsing through it and seeing what fits. Uh, so what have we got here? Maybe a little bit too cinematic. And stuff like this sounds perfect. It's just sprinkles of sound. And this can really help get me out of writer's block if it just is missing something. It works great. And another thing I've used is a lot of the piano lines and guitar textures. So if I go for some downtime stuff, especially on the downtime, I love the guitar tones that they've got. So if you don't play guitar, it's a great way of getting some nice, beautiful guitar. So with downtime, it's got a lot of chord progressions and loops that could really kick a track off. So yeah, the second thing was just really for texture, it's amazing. Top end melodies, even stuff that you might not necessarily play yourself. They've got some great piano lines under some of the packs. Just this lush top line piano. I mean, listen to that. And also it's worth mentioning, they've got some fantastic drum textures and because it's tempo synced, that's just going to fit your track. If you're looking to spice it with drum progressions a little bit, more texture from this could be great. Nice crunchy snares. And as always, you can always freeze these and resample them yourself. Um, but yeah, so number two was texture. Fantastic for adding texture. And number three is one that I think I'm going to start using more of, and it is the note kits. So the note kits are effectively playable instruments in of themselves. So they've got some really good pad textures. just the tone in this, or you can use your own filters to put some of the lows. Let's see what else they've got. Aura. So look, there's a new kit here from Aura that I've actually not heard. So even packs that already exist, they are updating them and adding new stuff, which is lovely. Didn't know they did that until now. So there you go. Uh, again, Aura is good for some pads. Just listen through it and see what fits. So I'll be exploring this a lot more. I've not really ventured into the uh, note kits enough, but in my recent pad style tracks, it's fit really well. That's pretty sick. A little bit of verb, whatever waves is. So yeah, note kits was point number three. It's got some really unusual kits in there. I've used predominantly for pads, but stuff like this can work well for even your main chord progression just to get the track going with an unusual and very lo-fi style chord progression. So yeah, with that said, I'm just going to dive into a couple of tracks that I've been making recently and show you some of the patches that have fit really nicely. So this track was one I actually made uh, for a video a while ago using some pedals and my synth, and it was really elevated by adding a few little touches from Arcade. So, uh, you might remember it. This was the sort of general riff. I've added some ethereal vocals. So as I said, I've got this little arcade bit in the intro and usually what I do is I'll cut the lows 
to keep it clean. Uh, and in this case, I cut some of the highs as well. So this is from Distant Voices Spectral, which is one of the ones that I'd hearted. Sounds fantastic. And then I've also layered a second bit here, which is just different trigger samples from the same thing. On this one, again, I've cut the lows and highs, added some radiator from uh, Sound Toys and some spaced out from Baby Audio. Just because I prefer using my reverb sometimes because it can add to a nicer mix. There's still a bit of reverb on here as well. Again, Spectral from Distant Voices. And then this is from Aura Rejuvenation. Uh, it was just a nice little guitar texture. That, so yeah, that was one track that I worked it in with. And this is another track that was really elevated by a more subtle use of Arcade. So if I play the Arcade samples. So on this one, this top one, I've used Radiator for some uh, saturation, spaced out for reverb, thrown on Portal, and then I've thrown on a glue compressor, which is side chain to the kick. So it's ducking out for the kick. Which, which is not for mixing, it's just for the sort of choppy effect. And then I've got this sort of pad sound, again with spaced out portal and an auto filter. Uh, so this top one is Arcade using uh, Purity by Distant Voices. And then the bottom one is using uh, Angelic Forest by Aura. So this choppy effect is from Portal, uh, which I'll link again in the description down below as well. And that's using Radio Flutter. That's actually another output VST. Um, so yeah, combine the two and then in context. So if you want to try it out for free, you can click, click the link in the description down below uh, and try it out for 30 days. See what you think of it. Do let me know if you like it. If you don't like it, we'd love to get other people's opinions. I know a lot of you are probably using it already. So if you are, please let me know as well in the comments down below what your favorite lines and kits are. We'd love to know because there's still so many that I've not explored yet. Be sure to enter the competition by dropping a comment and a like and being a subscriber to the channel. Also, I'm in the process and of editing and I realise I've got very much to add for watching. I will catch you next time. So the prize is going to be six months of arcade. And all you've got to do to enter is drop a like and a comment on this video. And I'll pick someone at random as soon as we hit 300 likes, which I might add we're getting close to on a few other videos. So if you haven't already watched some of the previous videos and entered those competitions, they will be announced very shortly. So be sure to enter by liking and dropping a comment on those. Um, but yeah, on to the video.